to welterweight action headlines this weekend. Conor Ben against German Sebastian Formella. Darren and I are here uh, to talk you through some of the technical finer points as we see them uh, and things that could be crucial uh, on Saturday night. So, uh, do you want to start? Yeah. Well, look, for me, it's two complete, completely different game plans yeah. for both fighters. If you're Conor Ben, you want to be aggressive on your feet. But I'm going to start with Formella. For me, Formella, we've seen in the past, he likes to move. He's very agile. He's a former gymnast, so he's quick on his feet. The problem with him, though, he doesn't want to get backed onto the ropes or in the corner. That's exactly where Conor Ben wants him. So it's about being elusive, being quick on the feet, but being smart with your movement as well. So when you're moving, don't get backed up too far. So I want him to work from the centre of the ring. Once Conor Ben steps forward, take a little step back. You can move round and back to the centre. So you're Conor. Okay. You're coming yep. towards me. And he's going to be coming in back, here. And then even to spin round, back to centre. That way you've always got space behind you. And like I say, taking away that risk of what Conor Ben wants to do and get you on the rope. Because one thing Formella does do, if we just go to, to centre ring here, is he does have a, he a habit of not just going back once and then left. He actually goes back twice. Yeah. And because Conor's going to be aggressive and coming forward, he, he does take those big steps back. The other thing is, when he does take a step back, Formella tends to pop that jab out going yeah. backwards. So Connor, you know he's going to have to come forward in two phases. So if you can just take a step back so you can shut me down. But as you come forward, he's got to be moving that head. Yeah. So you've got to be coming in. Get under like that. The, the good thing for Connor is, is Formella, though he moves really well, he's not a Lomachenko. And yeah. what I mean by that is Lomachenko will take a little step and he'll be around you. He'll step round. He knows like exactly what you said there. Formella's going to come back in straight line. So it does make it a little bit easier for Connor Ben to get him on the rope. Because you know, if you give him the feint, He'll move back and he'll go again. Like okay. You say. So let's talk about when they get onto the ropes because Formella, as you say, he's got very good lateral movement. He's very light on his feet. He's, he's, he's almost certainly got the quicker feet of the pair yeah. of them. So when he comes here, he gives you a couple of looks. He will go light and it'll bounce as if he's going to go right, as if he might go left. But the majority of the time, if you've watched a few of his fights, he does like yeah. to exit left. So with Connor, he's got to actually almost shut him off, offer him an exit, and force him to go a certain way and then, and 100%. then come over So the, the feint for both men is so important in this fight. For Miller with his feet, give Connor the, the look that he's going to go to his mm -hmm. left move to his right, vice versa. The same there. So where you like, you said it there, For Miller does like to exit to his left. So if I'm Connor, it's exactly what I do. I back you on. I give you a little feint as if I'm going to go there. For Miller naturally is just going to move away to yeah. his right. Yeah. So what I do then if I'm Connor, I give you the feint to the left and I wing it to the body. And this is what we, we always talk about this all the time, about setting traps. It's a good move for Connor because what you can do is give the feint there, bang. You could do this about half a dozen times, Connor. You keep doing it. Well, over the first few rounds. Yeah, yeah. you know, as the rounds are going on, bang, step over, bang. After a while, let me tell you now, I've taken Connor on the pads. He's such a big puncher. Formella will start feeling them. Then, I don't know, in the third round, fourth round, Give him that again. That elbow's going to drop. And then come straight over. over the top. Because he's not going to want to take any shots around here anymore. Yeah. So usually, you drop your hand to try and cover it, come over the top. This is exactly what setting traps is all about. And connor has got a perfect one he can use there. Mm. Um, so in the uh, Mbengi fight, we saw, uh, which I think is more representative of what we're going to see on Saturday night. Mbengi, of course, who stopped uh, Miguel Vasquez. A little bit slow on his feet. Gave those exits to Formella, but didn't shut him down enough and quick enough. He's a he didn't slow when he come in with that second phase. Half a step behind yeah. at all times. With Connor, he's going to have to make sure he's mirroring that footwork all yep. the time. Can you just give me a couple of examples? Just show me how you cut the room, how you make that space more. So if I try and move away from you, can you just mirror the footwork? Yeah. And just so show how quick look, you got to so be? You come in forward. Another thing for Connor, he has to be quick on his feet because sometimes he can be guilty of it. He's got very quick hands. But yeah. what can happen is you let your hands go before your feet. And you don't take them with you. And you fall over your front foot. Against a boxer, a counter puncher like Formella, that's dangerous. Right. You know, though he's not a big puncher. So what you need to do is, is you come in forward, he's got to be aggressive with your seat. Don't bring, bring him in, bring him in. As you're going there, step across, step across, step across. He's going to have to be physical. That's something that Sean Porter done so well against Formella. Was so aggressive with his foot, but once he got in there, he made him pay. Bang, 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 yeah. uppercut. But that's basically what you've got to do. Be aggressive with your feet, fast with your feet. And do you know what? That uppercut, a couple of times it landed from Porter, because Formella's got a traditional straight guard. Yeah. When, he, when his head snapped up, he backed off. Did. You saw him do that little thing where, you know yourself against Martinez. When you got hurt upstairs, you had a little bounce on you just to check reminder. your... Sorry, mate, yeah. <laughs> you had a little bounce on your legs, didn't you, yeah. to check it was still there. Yeah. And you saw him touch... Formella touch his nose a couple of times. If Connor lands that uppercut and he hurts Don't him, finish with it. He's got to step on it. Come him. over with it. You throw the uppercut. The beauty of an uppercut is 
you're trying to get a reaction. So usually you land the shot, the head goes up, so bang, bang, come over with a hook or bang, bang. That's what he's going to do. He doesn't like it for Mella and he has got, when he's in close, his guard is open. He's open mm -hmm. to an uppercut. So for Connor, don't finish on the uppercut, finish on a hook afterwards. A couple of um, things that happened in the, in the Porter fight was when he got up close and he felt a little bit smothered, he was um, underhooking Porter's right arm, which is the danger arm, yep. pulling his head in close here, and then occasionally just push off and work with his mm. free arm there. Yeah. Just when someone pulls you in and clinches, Connor's the physically the much stronger yeah. of the two. Presumably, he's going to want to turn Formella every time until the ref breaks and try and make sure that he positions Formella so his back to the rope yeah. as much as he can. So, yeah. so, so, but, so you're in here, Formella's the one that's going to be holding. Like you say, yeah. Connor's going to try and work inside, so he's going to grab on. So for Connor, though he's going to try and be explosive inside, he doesn't want to burn up too much energy. Let Formella do that. He's going to be the one grabbing, all right? So what Connor's going to try and do is push your arm down, just get around you, hit, hit, let the referee say break. But for, for Mella in those clinches, he's the one who's going to be tiring. Connor, don't be throwing him around or anything like that. Be cute with it, because for Mella, the one who's going to be grabbing. Mm, okay, fine. Um, and lastly, just in terms of his mentality, Connor needs to understand that he is going to be on the move from round one to, yep. as long as this fight goes, if it goes to the end of the 10th yep. round, and he's not, he, he cannot afford to get frustrated at any point. Has to remain patient throughout. You know, that's so key in this fight. I mean, it's so key in boxing. We see it against, uh, was it Ritz and Patera? You know, Patera was moving so much. And Ritz sort of got so frustrated. He was one pace and loading up with big shots. I think it's so important for Connor now just to be smart, be aggressive, but don't be silly. He's got to go through the gears. It, it, look, a good fighter like Formula is, if you're fighting at one pace all the time, he'll know how to suss you out, even if it is top gear. Fifth gear, you'll be walking onto everything. So it's so important for Connor to go through the gears. Be mm. smart, but be patient. And like I said earlier, set traps. All right, nice one, Dal. So a big step up for Connor Ben Welterweight action. He headlines against German Sebastian Formella. Sky Sports in the UK, the zone in the US. Don't miss it.